step right up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the greatest, well, second greatest show on earth. Boys and girls, it's my favorite time of the day. It's morning time. Morning time. Sun is rising. Morning time. Good morning, Lucy. Morning time. Morning time. Birds are singing. Morning time. Good morning, early bird. Bok, bok. Morning time, morning time, count your blessings, morning time. Good morning, Giuseppe. Morning time, morning time, bells are ringing, morning time. Good morning, Penelope. Morning time, morning time. How I love the morning time. Hi boys and girls, my name is Calliope. My papa is the ringmaster with the traveling circus. I want to join that circus and one day I will. But for now, I'm here in the circus's winter home in Calico Valley and I'm practicing my skills as a clown. One day, when I get them just right, my papa will send for me, and he'll let me run the carnival sideshow with the circus. And with me here are some of my best friends. Some of them want to be in the sideshow, too. I'm so glad you came to visit me today, boys and girls. It's a beautiful day in Calico Valley. But then, every day is beautiful here. Hello, this is Calliope. Calamity, how are you? It's so good to hear from you. What's that? Your garden has produced so much that you're coming to Calico Valley to share. That's wonderful, Calamity. Will you stop by the caravan to say hello? You're bringing me some of your vegetables? That's great, Calamity. Of course, of course I'm excited. You grow the best vegetables on Patchwork Mountain. I'll see you soon then. Bye-bye. Boys and girls, that was my friend Calamity. She lives on Patchwork Mountain. She grows vegetables and fruit and she always likes to share the extra vegetables and fruit that she grows. And she's coming here to Calico Valley to bring me some. Oh, but I don't like vegetables. Hi boys and girls, it's me Penelope. Calliope will be right back after these messages. morning, Penelope. It was Calamity. She's bringing a whole basket of extra vegetables and fruits that she's grown and she's sharing them with everybody in Calico Valley. And she's bringing me some. Oh, she's so sweet to do that. But Penny, I don't like vegetables. I mean, why can't she grow cotton candy or lollipops or something and share that with me? Did Calamity say whether she'll be bringing Daphne with her? Oh, she didn't mention it. But Penny, what am I going to do? She's bringing all these vegetables and stuff over here, and I don't like vegetables. If I were you, Calliope, I'd smile, say a sincere thank you, and enjoy those vegetables. Calamity grew them, and she's sharing them with you. 
They're a wonderful gift from a good friend. You're right, Penelope. That's exactly what I should do. Did I hear you say Calamity is a coming with a fresh of vegetables? That's right, Giuseppe. She'll be here in a little while on her way to share her fruits and vegetables. What's the matter, Calliope? I would think you would be happy to see your friend a Calamity. Of course I'm happy to see Calamity. I just don't like vegetables. That reminds me. I have to contact a happy monkey and tell him not to bring me vegetables today. Will he use what a Calamity bring for dinner? Does it? Anybody understand what I'm saying? Calliope, I'm a know you since you were a little girl. If anybody knows you don't like a vegetables, it's a Giuseppe. But you pop it a ringmaster. He say you gotta eat a you vegetables so you stay a healthy. Let me know when a calamity get here, will you? I'm a gonna go call it a monkey. Okay, Giuseppe. Good morning, early bird. Good morning, Calliope. What's wrong? You look really unhappy. Well, my friend Calamity is coming over from Patchwork Mountain and... But that should make you happy, not sad. It does, early bird. But she's going to bring a lot of vegetables and stuff from her garden to share with everyone and... I don't like vegetables! Now, Calliope, I'm surprised at you. Calamity is sharing her extra produce with people she cares about, and you're acting like someone who doesn't appreciate what's being offered to you. I don't mean it that way, early bird. I'm excited about seeing Calamity, and I'm very happy that she wants to share what she's got with me. It's just... I know, I know. You don't like vegetables. You're right, early bird. I'm not acting like myself. I should just be thankful for what Calamity is going to bring me and just smile and say thank you. Now that's more like it. Tell Calamity that if she has any extra worms in her garden, I'll be happy to take them off her hands. Gotta fly now. See you later. Good morning, Mr. McCall. Good morning, lass. You seem to be a little down today. What might be the problem? Oh, it's nothing important, Mr. McCall. My friend Calamity's coming to visit me and... Is that so, lassie? Now there's a really great lady, that Calamity. Always willing to share whatever she has with anybody. That's just it, Mr. McCall. She's bringing me vegetables from her garden. And you don't like the vegetables, do you, Calliope? No, I don't, but I'm gonna have to be thankful for her sharing what she has with me. I'm sure you'll do the right thing, lassie. Here's your mail, a letter from the Travel and Circus, and another of your mail order courses. A letter from Papa? Wow! And another mail order course? It's about time they sent something new. Aye, I thought so too. Well, I'll be seeing you soon, lass. More mail to deliver. Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Penelope. Calliope will be right back after these messages. Boys and girls, I'd love to hear from you. Please write to me at Calliope, P.O. Box 1995, LaGrange, Georgia, 30241. And now, back to the caravan. Well, boys and girls, while we're waiting for Calamity to get here all the way from Patchwork Mountain, I thought we'd see what this mail order course is all about. Welcome to the next course in your ongoing mail order continuing education. We'll begin this course with a short quiz. Tell me, have you ever received a gift? Well, yes. Of course you have. Everyone has. Now, have you ever received a gift you didn't really like or didn't want? Oh, yes. I imagine everyone gets a gift like that at one time or another. When you get a gift you like and want, it's easy to be thankful and eager to receive. But it's a lot harder when the gift is one you don't like or don't want. That's what this course is about, showing your appreciation with gracious thanks whatever the gift is. Hmm, that sounds interesting. It does, doesn't it? 
So as you look into your box, you'll pull out gifts from us to you, one at a time, and give us the best reaction that shows gracious thanks. Ready? Let's get started. Reach into your box and pull out the first item and show your gracious thanks. I'm glad you like it. I made it myself. Now put the pretzel aside and take out the second item in the box. Thank you! I'm glad you like it. I made it myself. Now reach into the box and pull out item number three. Uh. Okay. Are you trying to convince me or yourself? You're not too thrilled with the rubber chicken, are you? Well, let's see what the last item in the box brings from you. Go ahead and get it. Now, now, none of that. This is just as much a gift from us as the pretzel and the cotton candy and even the rubber chicken. You aren't being very gracious right now. You are a grown-up and should know how to be gracious with your thanks. Your papa and mama certainly raised you better than that. Now, don't you think you should try it again? When you pull out the broccoli this time, try to give a gracious thank you instead of reacting like you just did. Thank you! Much better. But you have to practice it. Make it sound natural, like you mean it. We'll send your diploma to you after you can successfully be gracious with your thanks. Bye for now!